people, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Tori and today I have another lookbook for you all. And today I have a really exciting item that I will be styling with all of my outfits and it is these cowboy boots. I'm honestly super excited about this because I don't really get new shoes too often, mostly because I have a very irregular shoe size so it's very hard for me to come across shoes that I really like that aren't sneakers. Got these from the Rose Bowl flea market like a couple cycles ago, a couple months ago now, and I really like them. They were $80 and they are a tad big on me. They fit pretty well. I just have to wear thick socks with them. So that's what I do. And I really liked getting them secondhand because they're already kind of broken in already. So all the hard work has been done for me. I know cowboy boots are like super trendy right now. Oh, but I really like them. I mentioned a couple videos ago that I think the cowboy aesthetic is gonna be here for a while. I mean, Ivy Park just dropped their latest campaign and it was very cowboy aesthetic oriented. And I also just really like these high cowboy boots because I feel like it's a really nice play on like the tall black boot that everyone kind of embraces every fall or even if you were like me and you went out in college, everyone wore a black booty and I feel like this is me trying to reclaim the black boot. If you don't really like the cowboy boot trend, I also would say that if you're looking for another kind of classic boot look, just look out for something with a similar like pointed toe. I think those are also very cool and those are honestly, oh, and those are honestly always in all the time and a great staple to have. Yeah, those are my thoughts. I'm probably talking way too much. So let's just jump into the outfits. All right, so for this first outfit, I just really wanted to have something that was bold and made a statement and made these cowboy boots just look like regular boots. And to tie in the black boots, I just threw on my leather blazer on top. I do love these pants because they do have a bit of a flare. You're gonna see a lot of foot popping in this because my room is super small and it's really hard to get a full body shot. We have a different a leather jacket on top and this time I just paired it with an oversized graphic tee. Again, just wanna style this boot like I would any other boot. And then for this third look, I really just switched out the pants for my jorts that I cut a couple of videos ago. Now we're starting to see some of the boot popping now. I think it's a fun play on like the usual denim and leather and basic tee that we all kind of know and love. I just changed the top this time for this one that I found out says exotica erotica and to add a little spice I threw on this trucker hat that's actually Miley Cyrus merch it says Miley can go fuck herself and I just love how the red lettering on the shirt and the hat just kind of match one another This next outfit is very 90s inspired, so I have on this butterfly tube top dress. And to add more of my personality, I threw on this cheetah cardigan with a little matchy matchy bag moment. Look at the slits on this dress, isn't that? It's a little scandalous, I'm not gonna lie. Kind of rolling with the theme next i have on this see-through top which i really should get some like cuter lingerie to wear underneath i love this top i got it off thread up i really loved the sheer design on it i don't know if you can see but it's like a mountain cloudscape and then i just paired it with this camo skirt i thought it was super simple i love the clashing of the prints i feel like some people will say it's costumey but isn't wearing clothes just wearing a costume anyways food for thought so this next outfit is a dress look i feel like this dress is a perfect transition from summer to fall especially with like the olive tones and like the gold and red in it and to bring out the olive tones i paired it with my big unif cardigan And then this is the look without the cardigan. 
I feel like the paisley and the cowboy boots together really just give it more of like a country feel. Um, maybe I'm just projecting. And then another option features this lovely leather vest that my roommate found at the Melrose Trading Post the other day. This one's pretty self-explanatory, just like my favorite hill house white dress. Honestly, my other one would also pair really cute with this as well, but that one's in the wash. And I just love the idea of like this cute little baby doll dress with like these really high boots. And to make it feel more like me, I threw on these tights. I seriously need a new pair. You can see that they're like running real bad. And again, a leather jacket because that is my safety blanket, people. Such a short time. Honestly, I don't know what I was going for with this look, but I kind of like it. I'm just wearing some trousers, the same vest from earlier, and then this Tears for Fear shirt. And again, you can't really see the boots, but I'm telling y'all, cowboy boots are very versatile. Here's another dress look. I love this tiered dress. Again, I love a good baby doll dress. I love this one from Ghani. Um, last summer, I styled it in a more like punk way with my chunky loafers, but I also love the look of it with the cowboy boots. Again, I feel like it just, these boots work with everything at this point. Okay, this outfit. I kind of hate it and you'll see that I change out of it in like two seconds, but I tried to go for another trousers look. Looked a little too, too corporate for me. So I threw on the jorts again. And I think this is so cute. Um, would definitely wear this to a concert or to a bar, 10 out of 10, looking real cute. This is the shorts portion of the video. And then I swapped out the top for this halter wrap top that I have. And to kind of make it feel a little more costumey, a little more cowgirl theme, I threw on this bandana print work jacket. Where would I wear this? Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. And for this last look, I just wanted to wear a more fun printed blouse that I haven't picked up in a while. A little business on top, a little party on the bottom. Um, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know which look was your fave and I'll see you for the next one. Bye.